Hey guys, how's it going? Techie here. Um, this is a tutorial that my friend asked me to do. His name is uh, Miko, or just Miko, but his channel is uh, Miko. I'll put it in the description. Um, basically, the transition looks like this. There's that uh, where it comes in through the corners and stuff. Uh, I did not follow a tutorial to do this, I did it on my own, which is nothing special because people do this all the time, but uh, that was my first time ever trying to use it, and it turned out pretty nicely. So, uh, yeah, I had, I, I recently did one, and I kind of messed up on it, so I'm going to redo it. So, you get your clip in here, and uh, what you want to do is you want to find the spot where it splits right about there hold on right there okay and then you want to go to edit split layer and then kinda drag the other clip over the other one a little bit your game winning kill clip a little bit over the other one so that it's kinda overlapping a little bit Sorry about that, I'm trying to recruit from my clan. Um, so what you want to do is kind of just zoom in a little bit so we get a little better view of this crap. So what you want to start doing first is you want to get the pen tool. Go ahead and mask it out. Oh, what the fuck happened? Okay. Let me delete that. Um, Alright. Make sure you have your layer selected. That's good for now. I don't care. Okay and so that's that part and as you can see it only does half of it so you want to uh, make sure your layer is selected press control D to duplicate it and go ahead and go to your mask and click inverted and that'll show the other side so now what you want to do is you want to go to transform go ahead and go to the very beginning of the clip which is about right here and uh, what you're going to want to do, hold on one second, let me fix that a little bit. Okay. Alrighty then. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the very beginning, make sure you're on the beginning, go to position keyframe, go ahead and move it over, move it up a bit. Move it over some more. Move it up. All right, go ahead. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna want to do the same thing with the other one. Go ahead, go to transform, keyframe the position. Go ahead and move that out as well. Just a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, now what you want to do is go ahead and select both the layers. Press U to show the keyframes for the position. Go ahead, go to the very end, and go ahead and put the position back to 640 and 360. And what the hell just happened there? Oh, whoops. Okay. And 360. Alrighty then. Now, as you can see, when you zoom in a little bit, when you get to the end, there's that little line. That pissed me off because I didn't know what to do. So, what you do is you go forward a keyframe, go ahead and select both of these, press Alt and bracket. Then you're going to want to re put in your clip. Go ahead and find about where it's supposed to be at, which is, hold on, okay, okay, go ahead and go back to first clip and we're going to cut it like we did the other one find the beginning and go ahead and alt 
begin bracket go ahead and move that in here like so go to the end of these uh, two clips down below just kind of turn the layer back on alt begin bracket so that it cuts it off right there and as you can see the line goes away which is good alright that's exactly what we want so then you're going to want to put the explosion in there which I will have in the uh, description and what you're going to want to do is line it up where it uh, collides so right there hold it. go ahead and press LL zoom in if you need to so that you can uh, get a better view here that's about good okay uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the audio levels and put that all the way up to 12 uh, you're going to want to go to your effects and type in bass B-A-S-S -S, and treble go ahead drag that on there put the bass all the way up to 100 um, then what you want to do is keyframe some positioning for the shake I didn't really uh, follow a tutorial for the shake. I couldn't really find one, so I just kind of improvised and I just uh, kind of keyframed everything. So go to position, keyframe it. Oh, hold on one second. So what you're gonna want to do is select all of these layers and make them a bit bigger. So yeah, so they're just a little bit bigger. Then go to the beginning of your top. Uh, clip. Go ahead and keyframe the position. Um, go forward one frame. Go ahead and like just mess around with it. Move it over a little bit. Go forward another frame. Go ahead and uh, move it back. Go up a little bit. You get the gist of it. Just keep doing that for a little bit. not too long, like a second maybe, maybe a little bit less than a second and then that's all I'm gonna do, then for the last frame go back to 640 by 360 360 so it's gonna look like that with a little bit of a shake you guys will do better on the shake than I will, I'm just trying to do this pretty quickly looks like mine went by a little too fast right there but that's okay uh, let me make sure that this is Okay, it's supposed to be on 59.94. Okay, that's better. Alright. Now, let me frame preview this. It'll sound a lot different with music, too. Um, hold on. Alright, let's frame preview this. Here, let me take the uh, volume off so that you can hear the explosion kind of thing so as you see that's pretty much what it was and then another thing that you can do to like kind of animate it a little bit make it look a little bit better is uh, put an intervention sound in there whoops intervention sound I actually haven't tried this but I'm just kind of guessing see if it sounds any better go ahead and go to time and, eight, and then go to time reverse layer uh, LL so we can see the waveform go ahead and move that on to there and that'll make it so that it kinda just like moves in a bit I'm not sure how it's gonna sound cause there's an intervention shot in there yeah, it sounds pretty good it kinda just like animates it in there a little bit uh, you could even duplicate the intervention later control D and then you could go right click on it, go to time, go to time stretch, put it for negative 200, press OK. Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Yep, that enhances it a little bit. Uh, why did I go all the way to the beginning right there? I'm not worried about it.
Alright, maybe not add that top one in there because it kind of drags it on a little bit, but you guys get the gist of it. Um, hold on. Let's try something. Yeah, you, you guys get the gist of it. Maybe not put that top one in there so it sounds a little bit better because that's just too much. But, yeah. That is the uh, transition tutorial. Um, I'm not sure what to call it, so you guys can call it whatever the hell you want. Uh, I haven't been able to find a tutorial on this, which there probably is one. I just haven't looked hard enough. So, that's pretty much it. Um... If you guys would like me to do any tutorials, please uh, post it in the comments below or on my channel or send me a private message or something like that. Uh, I'll do anything. If you find something, I will try to figure out how to do it. And uh, I will mention you in the video. If you were the first person to tell me to do that, uh, that tutorial, I will mention you in the video and I will put your link in the description. Alright, so that's about it. And uh, I'll see you next time.